In today's video, I'll be buying my own custom Minecraft client off of Fiverr and I'll be reviewing it and sending a download link out for you guys to use for yourselves. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I did some insane games at the end. And be sure to join my Discord as the download link will be in there. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Let's get into it. So guys, we're straight into it here. Um, we have got our uh, thing here, guys. It says, I will code you your own Minecraft client. And um, so it says, a basic client appears, only one option, and it says, you'll get a custom main menu, custom buttons, and most in-game features that you like. It's uh, average five days delivery, and it has two revisions available. I would have ticked out of Optifine, and I was going to, however, I thought, actually, Optifine is actually not allowed in a Minecraft client, unless you've got, like, paid verification. So I don't want the video and everything to be taken down if I had Optifine. And to be honest, Optifine just adds a little bit of FPS and zoom in, so. Right guys, let's just get straight into the next part of the video, whatever that's going to be. No idea how long it's going to take, but wish me luck. So guys, we have just recently received the delivery. It took five days to deliver, which is what he said actually eventually. Uh, he said it would take five days, and yep, bang on five days, guys. He's from Germany, so it was kind of hard to communicate, like, as in time-wise. But he did get back as soon as he can, guys, and tells you to sell his local time. And uh, at one point, he was awake at midnight uh, doing the client for me um, and different things for me, answering my questions. He was really good to say, guys. I just want to put his link in the description, ladies and gentlemen, to, to this gig. He does have a few extra prices now for different things, but you should definitely check out his gig. He's really good. So, guys, you can see all my things here. If I had the money, I would definitely tip you because it was amazing. But, uh, yeah, if we just go down a bit. So, he said, hi, you and Garen. Thank you for your order. I would like to know which version would you like, and then... He said, I hope to see you soon. And then he also said, what should be the name of the client and what type of GUI would you like? So I said, could it be 1.8.9, which is what my favourite version is? Could the name be Uncraft Client? And could the GUI be slightly like the Luna Client one? Because I wanted it to... Because Luna Client's nice and clean. I think Badline's better than Luna, but that's just my personal opinion, to be honest. But I quite like the simple, clean look of that Luna. There's two, di there's di two different sides of my mind, guys. I like the Badline one because it's so quick to use, but also like the Luna one for aesthetic versions. So I said I want the Luna Client GUI sort of style. Then eventually he came back and said, I'd like to ask your opinion on the current settings menu. Does it fit the style you wanted? Any changes you want? Thanks in advance. So then we have this here, guys. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, he's got like a little HUD editor, a little clothes button up there. And he's got all the these mods here. They're not all, there wasn't all of them yet, of course, but he had most of the mods. Then he said, "I just finished with the main menu. Are you happy with that, or does it need any changes, like custom background?" So this is the original design, guys. It said, "You and Croft client custom buttons there." Um, the background looks slightly blurred, and it looked really nice. And it had my logo up there as well, which looks really cool, guys. Um, but yeah, he said, "Do you want a custom background?" Which got me thinking. So I said, "Hey, that looks awesome. Please give me five minutes to create a background." So I got this quick little background. Uh, I just made this on Photoshop in like a couple of minutes. And I think it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, so then he said, sure, the buttons need to be rearranged and a few things. Uh, and then we, we got good with that. And then he said, what do you think about this main menu? So it looks insane, ladies and gentlemen. The one thing he said earlier, which I decided to go with, was the logo. It just doesn't look right having a logo and a background. So we decided to get rid of that eventually. The next day, he had it ready, guys. He said, finally finish your client. I'll be happy with it. Please note you still have two revisions left. If you find any bugs or are still missing features, feel free to use them. I said thank you so much for this. I said that I'm going to be posting it on my YouTube, so I'll probably send him a message with the link to this video as well. So hi if you're watching this video. And uh, that was that, guys. So the order's completed. I marked it. It's completed. I didn't have any issues with it, uh, with adding it to my Minecraft or anything. And there were no bugs I could find. And I left a five-star review saying he was incredible. He, I asked some new things. He did it in less than a day. Proof. I would highly recommend this to anyone, 10 out of 10. The communication that you just saw, 5 stars. The service as described, 5 stars. Buy again or recommend, what are we doing here? 5 stars. And then he gave me a 5 star review as well. He said he responded really quickly and answered my questions precisely. His really straightforward and was really nice. The communication with this buyer was no problem. There we go guys, so we had all that done, it was absolutely awesome. but. Should we test out the actual client, guys? Because I haven't tested out the real client yet. I've just been playing around with the beta version, which wasn't, of course, completely finished or anything. It was just a few little things have been done to it to make it pretty cool. So let's get straight into the Minecraft launcher. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here, we have the Uncraft client right here. Ignore that little exclamation mark. That's near any installations. Just ignore it, guys. Just look through the channels on my Discord server, and you can download this client for yourself. 
so I guess we just click play now. So you guys can see right here we have the client loaded up. If I just go and click F11 right now, you guys cannot see it properly of course, um, but if I just turn my display capture real quick, you guys can see right here, it says my little logo up there, and that's so cool, and it says Minecraft 1.8.9. So ladies and gentlemen, you can see the buttons look really cool. I've got a texture pack enabled, but this is overriding that texture pack, guys. This is awesome. Look at it. It's a little close button to close the client, which, of course, you never want to do because it's so good. We've got a single player, multiplayer options. It says you and craft client, Minecraft 1.8.9, and it says the copyright thing's done here. But look at it, guys. It's got the name over there. It's got the text over here, the logo and everything ready. It's awesome. So if we just go into multiplayer real quick... Oh, this is sick. I'm just going to go and play some Hypixel real quick. Wow, guys. So, by default, it's got all my mods enabled. God, look at this. You can see I have my keystrokes up here on the top left. And that is looking awesome. If I just left click, right click. We have my potion effects over here. Where it says speed. I also have my clicks per second up here. Which also work when you're in a GUI. So, I've got left and right. And then, you've also got your frames per second. So, if I just stand still and look up because then you get the best frames. So we're getting like in the 90s, 80s when we're looking up. So that's actually decent, guys, to be honest. It looks pretty smooth when I move around things, so I don't care, really. Um, and then let's just right-click, right-shift on our keyboard like any hacked client. I'm kidding, kidding, just like Badland client. Right-click. Oh, my God, God, look at that. So we have all of these different mods here. And, oh, wow, we have block overlay as well. So um, change the color here. So... I don't really want to fill colour, so I'm... Okay, it's off, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's off. Scoreboard, so if I want to modify the scoreboard... Oh, wow, it's just gone a little small. And I guess I could just change the scale of it if I wanted to, so I might just make it this big. This big, there we go. And we can add, enable the red numbers if we want to. If I just... Uh, we have auto text as well, guys, and auto tip. Auto tip's like where it automatically does slash tip all. And there's a little scrolling animation as well. It pops back up when you scroll down. That's quite nice. If I make a new one, guys, that says... Hi there, have a good game. I'm just going to set that to F and add it on. Now if I just click F, look at that game, that is awesome. Oh, see if we can clear this guy up. There we go, right there. Got one guy out. Get out of here. Burn to death. Oh, so close. There we go, guys. We've got another kill there. Awesome. Right. So if I just go and add some boots as well there. There we go. I'm just going to clear out my inventory real quick. Awesome. I just really like this, guys. And you can see the FPS has gone up to my normal Badline Client 2.0 FPS, which is around 200-ish uh, FPS, which I think is really good, guys, considering this doesn't even have Optifine in it, and it's getting 200 FPS. I think that is insane. I don't have the best computer, and when I'm on Badline Client 2.0, I'm getting around 200 to 300 FPS. On Uncrock Client, I'm getting 200 FPS. Isn't that just amazing? How amazing. Imagine if we did add Optifine, how good this client would be with FPS-wise. And we could even zoom, because we can't zoom right now, of course. Right, let's just try and... Alt 2... Oh, and that was a fiery kill. Fiery bow. Uh, oh, GG, guys. GG in that game. That was an awesome game, yeah. So, guys, remember to join my Discord to find the link for this client. If you guys would like to see some more videos doing things like this on Fiverr, etc., and see me wasting my money on YouTube, then... Go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. I actually really, 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 really enjoyed recording this video, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you did too. See you in the next video.